Hey, Tim Hunker here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install brackets. First with the flat pack method, and then second with uh, .deb file method. Uh, brackets was run by Adobe, uh, but now it's gone to the community after Adobe dropped support after September 1st, 2021. Still works on a Chromebook, so uh, if you're a Brackets fan, you can get up and running with Brackets with either of these two methods. So the first thing we'll need to do is turn on the Linux development environment. And I can click on the launcher here and either type in to find my settings or sometimes you'll just see them right here like I do. Anyways, so I'm going to open up my settings and I'm going to go to advanced, then to developers, and I'm going to click turn on. I'll click next. Uh, I'm going to accept the default username and the recommended disk size. This can be changed later in the settings. And I'm going to click install. And this will take a few moments, so I'm going to cut the video and come back when it's done. Okay, when the terminal pops up, you have the Linux development environment enabled. Now, I like to do a quick update so let me just uh actually let me just get this a little bit larger for you i'm gonna go to the settings here and just increase the font to 20. and what i'm gonna do let me expand this and maximize it i'm gonna type into the terminal sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade dash y and hit enter and this will take a few moments so I'll cut this part out and come on back when it's done. Okay, that's installed. Now let's just clear this out and let's minimize this and minimize that. And what I'm going to do right now is search for Flatpak uh, on Chromebook. You'll see it's in my search history. So let's go to that. And we're going to probably click, uh, yeah, the first one that shows up here. Okay, so we want to enable Linux support. So I've got these commands I need to run. So first one is going to be sudo apt install flatpak. So let's bring back up the terminal here and type sudo apt install flatpak. And I'll hit enter. Okay, the next thing we want to do is copy this command. So starting with flatpak here. And we're adding the flat hub repository is what we're doing. So we're going to do control shift V to paste that in and run that. Okay. That's added. Now we have to restart Linux. So I'm going to hit control D to close this. And actually I wanted to pin my terminal. So let me just find it again. It's an easy way to shut down the Linux environment. So it went away from me. All right, here we go. So we'll open that, but I want to pin it and I'm just going to close this, but now I can go here and right click and just say, shut down Linux. Okay. Give it a moment. And then I'll go right back to my terminal and restart Linux. And while that's restarting, uh, it says now all you have to do is install some apps and it gives us this link. So let's click on this link. It's going to bring us to FlatHub. Okay, once we're at FlatHub, we can search for brackets and hit enter. And we'll see brackets is right here. Now, Adobe has dropped support for brackets. Okay, our next step, we're going to want to paste this in here into the terminal. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it into the terminal. Okay, then it's going to go ahead and it has to install these other things. I'm going to say yes, and then I'll cut some of the video because this is going to take a little while to do this. So I'm going to say yes, and it's going to go ahead. Okay, now that that's installed, we want to paste the following command into the terminal. So what this basically says is sudo, and I'll leave a, this in the description, sudo uh, ch own root colon root uh, user bin brap and sudo chmod u plus s user bin slash brap. So I'm going to hit enter. Okay. I'm going to close out my terminal, open up my launcher, 
I see I have brackets here. I'm going to click on brackets. And while it's opening, I'm going to pin it. Okay. And the first time it opens, it's going to take a little while. Also, I'm recording, so it's really running slow because I'm recording in the background. Okay, it's loaded up. A couple things to note with this, uh, whether you do it, uh, the next method that I'm going to show you is the dot, de the dot dev method. Whether you do it that method or this method, one thing that is seeming to throw an error for me running Debian 11 on a Chromebook is the live preview, which is unfortunate because that's a big feature. Um, the extension manager, if I open this up, you'll see here it's unable to access the extension registry. Please try again later. Uh, you can install extensions. You just install from the URL, from the GitHub URL, uh, copy the top part, not the code part. Just copy the top part, paste it in, and uh, it should install almost all extensions I've tried install. Some are, I'm still trying to work through, Emmet's not quite working, but HTML skeleton works, JS hint works, those kind of things. Probably do a separate video on all the extensions that you can install with brackets. Anyway, so now you do have brackets uh, installed on your Chromebook with the Flatpak method. Let's move on to the .deb method. Okay. So we've installed brackets with Flatpak. I went ahead and closed down my Linux development environment, uh, reset it up. I'm going to show you now how to install it with the .deb file. And so I'm at sourceforge.net, uh, and I'll leave this description or this link in the description below. But I have the brackets mirror and the release of 1.14.1. Uh, and I want to go down here and go to the 64-bit.dev file, and I'm going to download that. So I just need to click on that. Okay, and it'll download, and I'll show in the folder. Now, you may be thinking, um, all I have to do is right-click and then install with Linux. Uh, let's go through that just to show you what error comes up. So we're going to have to fix a few things first. So I'll click Install. And I see an error while installing. So I'll click on that. And it basically says, uh, depends on libcurl3, but is not installable. Because Debian 11, which I'm using at the time of this recording, uh, uses libcurl4. Okay. Luckily, there is a solution to this. Uh, I'm going to just right-click and copy this and paste it into my Linux files because I want to do some stuff with the terminal with it. So I'm going to do control V. Okay. And it's copied it across here. I can close this out and I'm going to open up a terminal here. Let me clear this out. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I look this actually up on uh, GitHub, Adobe brackets issues here, and here's a solution to it. So we just need to copy this. So we're going to depackage the .deb file. And I'm going to paste this in here. Uh, oh, wrong release, rather. Uh, so let me actually, let me just list out, because this is for an older version. So we want to actually change this to this release. So I'm going to just type uh, dpkg-deb-r dot, and then we'll do our brackets that release and we're going to put this into a directory called brackets i'm going to hit enter it's going to take a moment okay so we're back now let's list out our files uh, i'm going to cd into brackets and then i want to go into debian and i want to uh, open up this control file so i'm going to do vim and then control and I'm going to search for libcurl3, which I find here is one occurrence of it. And I'm just going to change this to libcurl4. Okay, I'm going to save that and quit out of this file. Go back to my home directory here. And so we did that. We replaced it. We want to do this. And we can copy and paste this one because this doesn't have a version number All right now. So we'll do that. That's going to take a moment. Okay, we're back, and that did take a little while. Uh, so if it does take you a little while, just be forewarned. Um, 
probably five, 10 minutes or so. Uh, okay, so last part, I'm gonna copy this. And I say last part, but it's not really gonna be the last part because we're, we're gonna see something in a moment. Okay, so we're going ahead. Okay, so uh, I went ahead and uh, it ended up that we didn't have, we, we have some errors because it depends on these things and they're not installed. So we're gonna go ahead and install and then we're, we're gonna deal with something else. So I'm gonna do dconf-service, uh, then libgconf dash two dash four, then lib and SPR four, then lib and SS three. And I don't know if we can do this last one. Let's just try lib pango one. Okay. Uh, whoops. I gotta have install here. Okay, so last one, we're just going to take that off. And, okay, so these depend on something else. So it says try apt fix broken install. So I'm actually just going to copy this here. And I think I'm going to do a sudo in front of it. Okay, so now do you want to install this additional stuff? Yes. Okay. So that's corrected that. So now let's go back here, go back through our commands to this uh, one where we install brackets, hit enter. Okay, it's run through that stuff uh, and it's gone ahead and uh, installed. Let's just close this out now. And you'll see that I pinned this previously. Let me uh, always show shelf here. And you'll see I've got the little brackets icon with when I do it the dot deb way. I'm going to click on that. Okay. And you'll see that, again, we have brackets installed the dot deb way. So now we can code the web on this version of brackets. Again, this is the last Adobe version. It's not supported, but it still works. Uh, I think brackets is a great text editor if you're looking for something that is still very good for front-end development, but isn't quite as heavy as VS Code or Atom. Uh, I remember running a few tests a few years back on my Windows machine, and brackets typically have had about almost half the RAM of VS Code, and, and VS Code was about uh, three-fourths of the RAM of Atom, so at that time anyway. So it is pretty light, but it does have a lot of good functionality to it. Uh, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please give it a like as it will help get it out to more people and also consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.